Welcome back to my channel. Right now, I'm going to prime my eyes using my foundation from Makeup Forever, and it's in the color Y405. And then I'm going to set that with my setting powder, and it's the setting powder from Laura Mercier, the translucent powder, one of my favorites to use. And then I'm going to go in with my transition shade, and I'm using the Anastasia Mono Renaissance palette. And right now, I am using the color Burnt Orange. <laughs> Right under that, I'm going to be using the color Raw Sienna and the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to create some more of like depth, dimension and depth to the eye. And then after that, I'm going to go in with Warm Taupe right under that. And then next, I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber just to create more definition and a nice transition into the lid colors that I'm going to use. I really, really like Cypress Umber. It's like my favorite. I already hit pan with that color. I'm so sad. So right now, I'm going in with Venetian Red on the outer corner of my eye and kind of bring that into the middle part of my lid just to create a nice transition and um, let it, make it look you know, more like fused together. And then I'm going to just take the entire red color, Venetian Red, and then go over my lid. Now I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer onto my lid, and I'm going to put this color from Makeup Geek called Curtain Call. And I love this color. It's such a pretty red, and it's so it's like one of their foil shadows, so it has sort of a shimmer to it. So I really, really like this color. I was so glad. I'm like, I need to use a red. I've never used red. So I wanted to try this out and I love the way it came out. So right now I'm going to prime my face with the Pore Professional from Benefit. And I'm just going to put that over the points where I get the most oily and points where I have like the most big pores area. Then I'm going to go over that with this Red Light um, Strobe Cream from MAC. I love all their strobe creams. Like they're so awesome if you guys want to you can actually mix them with your foundation just to add some more hydration but also add some highlight into your foundation for foundation today i'm going to be using the mark jacobs foundation and the makeup forever found hd foundation and the colors are for those uh i'll put down in the description bar below because i can't remember right now um but yeah i'm going to just mix those two together and then cover my skin with it i really like this it has a great undertone of yellow and it's it's awesome. They have great coverage too, if you guys were wondering. Now I'm using the concealer from Tarte, and I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put that in the description down below for you guys too. It's in the color Medium Sand. This is my first time actually using this particular concealer, and I am in love with it. The coverage and just, oh, it's so bomb. Like, I'm glad I got a chance to try this. I like the NARS. Um, concealer as well but this one is just so much more creamier and really blendable and I feel like with the NARS one it's kind of drying a little bit so I definitely am going to be gravitating more towards this because I just love creamy consistencies with my products right now I'm using the MAC quick trick stick um, it is the contour and highlighting stick that I was telling you guys about in my last um, tutorial. I'm just going to contour and contour the <laughs> parts of my face that I want. I usually don't contour my nose, but lately I've been getting into it because I'm finally getting the gist of how to contour my nose the proper way that I want it to look because it's not really that easy. It's not as easy as it seems, but yeah, I'm just going to um, blend that in with my beauty blender and then move on to setting my face. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier to set under my eyes and around my um, cheekbone area and on my forehead. <laughs> So 
right now I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Kit in light and medium and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit more and I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender so there's no harsh lines and then I'm going to move on to my cheeks and I'm using the same contour kit to um, contour my face with again. So next I'm going in with this Highlight the Truth blush from MAC and I love this but I thought it has a reddish tint to it and I wanted to kind of keep that same trend of red onto my face. So I'm just going to blush around my cheeks and my nose and then I'm using this Cover Enhancer Drops from Cover FX um, and I'm using the color Sun kissed yes sun kissed just to add some extra glow to my face and I'm just going to lightly dab that onto my cheekbones and let that dry and then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia ultimate glow kit um, but first I'm going to use the Sigma highlighting brush to achieve that ultimate glow guys um, but yeah I'm going in with hot sand and white sand and then I'm going to just lightly dust that onto my cheekbones just to create even more of a beaming highlight beaming like into our world <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with this Mac one and it's called double gleam and this highlighter is bomb too as you guys can see it's so 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 pigmented and just like amazing I'm gonna just lightly tap my nose with it um, and go on the outer part of my eyebrow like that that temple area there we go I couldn't think of it temples just to add some more glow to there and then I'm going to go on my upper brow with it and just add some glow. I mean, you just want to glow all over the place. Like, what? <laughs> right now, I'm lining my under eyes with the Feline Liner from MAC. And then I'm going to go right back under that with Cypress Umber and Venetian Red just to smoke out my under eye area. I'm just really loving the smoked out look on me right now. It just looks so good. And then I'm using the Feline um, Liner from Maybelline. If you guys watched my last tutorial, you guys know how much I was going on and on about this liner. It's so, so awesome. And it's really easy to use this one to create that perfect cat eye. Next, I'm using this Pixie Mascara to just go under my lower lashes. And with this mascara, it has like fibers in it to make your lashes appear a little bit longer. So I really, really love this mascara and it's really bomb. And then I'm going in with my Lily Lashes and the Lashes Cane and, or Can, excuse me. And then I'm going to line my lips using the Makeup Geek Liner in Espresso. And then I'm going to go over that with the Colored Rain um, Lip, Lip, lip paint no it's not lip paint um liquid lipstick in the color tootsie and i'm just going to line my lips with that and then color it in um and then i'm going to go over that with the lip paint from tarte called frenemy And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.